Hello, I'm Janvi Rana and in this particular video, I'll be talking to you about foreign research internships that are available for Indian students. So why foreign internships are important? First of all, it helps you to be on your own, get an international experience, you can visit new places and you get to learn a, a new learning system apart from those of India and it would be one of your stepping stones if you are planning to do higher studies abroad. So foreign internships are generally available for pre-final years. Some people even manage to get at the end of second year. International uh, internship processes are generally lengthy and the selection process can take uh, three to four to six months before the actual internships. So general applications uh, start during August to December of the previous year you want to apply uh, and internship periods are during your summer break that is from May to July. Uh, so before applying for uh, 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 foreign internships, you will be requiring few of the things. The first and foremost is your statement of purpose. So a uh, statement of purpose will tell you why do you want to do this internship? How will it benefit you? Uh, uh, what different idea, research idea you have and you wish to work on and what are your career goals. So for example, you uh, aspire to be scientist and that's why this research internship is important for you. You wish to do a doctorate and that's why this research internship is important to you and uh, or you have you are very fascinated about this particular field and uh, like for example, you want to work on clean energy and you are very interested in solar cells or thin films and you try to work on it. So this is what your statement of purpose uh, specifies. Then you have to learn about topic of interest. Now this should be relevant, practical, and uh, you should uh, choose topics and current results that also match your skill set. And it's even possible to work. For example, you have uh, or data science, so you are applying for uh, doing an analytics uh, research based work. Then you should have a research background. So this is not very necessary. Uh, you can have abstract or research, uh, rationally or you can do some uh, previous work uh, uh, in this particular background. For example, you had done a project on researching about uh, fuel cells and now you, after getting some insights or you must have drawn, uh, learned during this, you are trying to apply for an internship under a professor who has specialized under this. So this is what your research background uh, is supposed to. Then the fourth is your letter of recommendation. So this is supposed to be returned by your professors. So while you're applying for international internships, uh, there are a lot of applicants. So make sure uh, you stand apart. You have a good CGPA, uh, prior experience, um, uh, knowledge that this uh, differentiates you from others and you can have some stellar achievement you can mention them like if you have won some national or international olympiads this is where you can have so i will be uh, listing you few of the major famous international internships the first is your my tax then uh, national uh Tinghu university then that uh, uh that internship sn boss uh, University of Tokyo Research Internship and Sharpa. So this uh, I'll be talking uh, to you about individually about everyone. The first is your MyTax Global uh, MyTax Global Link. So this is an internship from uh, specifically for Canada. So date of application of this particular is from August to September. An internship period would be of two weeks from May to September, and this is generally available for. Uh, BTEC third year. Uh, you can even uh, apply it during your second year and here your requirements is minimum 8 CGP. So you will, uh, from this particular internship, you'll get to learn about uh, institutes that work in Canada. Then second is National Tink Ho University, NTHU University. So this is located in Taiwan and uh, this has uh, uh, applications from November to January. So here uh, it's a little bit different. They have got two sections. One is from May to July and then second session is from June to August. So this is uh, different uh, this is applying in two sessions so you can have uh, two different period of application so please browse the website for it and this uh, is um, can be available for the second and third year rights um then you have got uh, the third internship is your dad why uh, dad dad internship dad wise internship this is for germany uh last date of application is november and here also the internship period is from may to july and it is for btech 30 rights 
and here there is a good um, uh, a good cg pay generally bags you this internship uh, but nevertheless you can apply if you have got a very good experience in that particular field so here the advice is a little bit uh, different from others uh, most of the internships have one application process and then it forwards to a pool of professors where they interview or uh, process your uh, internship application and uh, then you get selected and that wise you have to approach the professor on your own by writing the letters and telling them that you are skilled in this and you want to apply through this particular program and then you are getting selected so this is a lengthy process where you have to initiate which professor you want to do okay then the fourth one is sn boss so sn boss is an internship that is aimed at a research institute in usa the last of it of uh, application is generally during october internship period is from may to september your general summer breaks and this is available for btech second and third year rights here the requirement are pretty high that is like top two ranks in the department so sn boss is one of the prestigious um uh, uh, instead of any of you get selected please let me know uh, this uh, most of the iit or bombay iit bombay students or one with a very stellar uh, are able to crack this uh, uh, sn boss internship now you have got for this university of tokyo research internship program so this is in japan uh, and her application is december to january so here also you have got two internship period a uh, program a and b one is at your summer break and other one is uh, from June to August, so this uh have different. You have to apply where your summer break falls and where you can get it. So this is available for PTEC second and third year rights. Then the fourth one is your Chapak uh, scholarship. This is in France and the last date of application is around October. So here also the internship period is during your summer break and it is available for PTEC second and third year rights. So the entire process will be lengthy. So make sure you apply at the right time and uh, get selected. All the best.